Good morning, third grade online learners. Welcome to another <clears throat> day of science class in Mr. Monzo's room. And we're making this video a little bit early this morning, but that's okay. Make sure you did all your journal entries from last week. Make sure you did your quizzes. I think there's one or two kids that still have to do a quiz or a journal entry. So just make sure you're done. We are changing this week to learn about the topic of soil. Okay, so today we're just going to read from the book, and there is no journal entry today. Hip, hip, hooray. Water, wind, ice, plant roots, and gravity can break up rocks and carry the loose materials away. So, with soil, you can have weathering. And you might have a lot of good soil in your yard, but if you don't plant grass or do something to keep the rain from washing it away, it could all disappear. Go into your neighbor's yard. If you have ever grown a plant, you know that plants need soil. Soil is the loose material that covers most of the Earth's surface. Soil is made up of bits of rocks, minerals, and material that was once part of living things. Soil forms when rocks are worn away. The breaking up or wearing away of rock is called weathering. Large rocks become smaller rocks. Small rocks become gravel and sand. After thousands of years of wearing away, rocks become soil. Five causes of weathering are water, wind, ice, plant roots, and gravity. So you can have a big boulder like this, guys, and if you notice, there's lots of cracks in it. Oh, yep, there it is. There's cracks in it, and after a while, the freezing and thawing of water will make that just split right in half. And I am reading on page C30, in case you have your books at home. Now we're on C31. As rock is weathered, small pieces are carrying to other places. <clears throat> this process of carrying weathered rock from one place to another is called erosion. Sometimes erosion moves materials quickly. Water and wind can pick up sand and soil and move them quickly to other places. Erosion can also happen slowly. In a river or stream, water flows over soil on the bottom. Small amounts of soil are constantly carried away. Gravity also causes concern, or I'm sorry, erosion. Gravity is a force that causes things to be pulled towards the center of the earth. Because of gravity, soil on a hill slowly moves to the bottom of the hill. Glaciers, too, move materials downhill. Take a look. We're doing good with our timer. All right, and let's go to the next page. Top soil is the top layer of soil. And this rich topsoil in the picture contains a lot of humus. The particles or pieces that make up topsoil are dark and small. <coughs> Plants grow best in topsoil. Subsoil, the bottom layer of soil, called subsoil, contains little humus. The soil particles are larger and lighter in color than in topsoil. Subsoil also contains small pieces of rock. Bedrock, the solid rock that lies below the lowest layer of earth is bedrock. The lowest layer of soil. Some of the materials in the soil above may come from bedrock. When wind, water, moving water, and moving ice slowly slow down or stop, they drop the materials they are carrying. Sand, soil, and pieces of rock build up to form layers. In addition to weathered rock, soil also contains humus, air, and water. Humus is the decayed remains of plants and animals. The kinds of materials in soils and other amounts vary from place to place. Different kinds of soil contain different amounts of weathered rock, mineral, humus, air, and water. Some kinds of soil can hold more water than others. Sandy desert soil can only hold a small amount of water. Soil that contains a lot of clay can hold a lot of water. Here's something from my book that is not in your book. Many students may think of soil as unchanging. In reality, soil is a given area changes over time. Young soil often contains rocks and sandy material. Over time, larger, larger pieces of weathered and more humus is added, resulting in a more fertile, healthy soil. So soil can change, rocks can change, and you want to be careful where you plant things. If you're planting new grass, uh, you want to make sure that you're using fertilizer, or if you're planting stuff in your garden, you have rich soil. If you just plant in the uh, tannish color clay, you're not going to have very good vegetables or very good grass. I know myself I have to uh, pay a landscaper to fertilize my lawn four or five times a year because 
when I bought my house and built my house, they took away all the topsoil and they sold it. So I, my, my house used, was built on a farm, and I thought, this I'm going to have the best grass ever. And then I noticed they scraped away the topsoil and left me with clay. So over the years, I've been fertilizing it, and I'm trying to add nutrients to the soil, and I do have a nice lawn now, but it was a struggle in the beginning. Topsoil, good, rich topsoil is worth good money. So that's why they take it. They figure, why, why leave it there? Okay? Take it, use it, give it to other people, sell it, um, and the homeowners are left with trying to fertilize their lawn, bring things back, bring nutrients back. So it's a system, guys, but you definitely want to uh, have good, rich soil if you're planting something. Uh, anybody from Mr. Rainier's class have anything to say? Lily. Lily. Lily says hi, and Jake is wearing a nice earth shirt today. Jake, come on over here. Even though this is a third grade video, we're making it during fourth grade today. Jake, show us your shirt. And you guys may have recognized this last week because Orson had it on, right? Mm -hmm. And is this a brand new shirt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like it's fairly new. So let's have a big hand for our buddy Jake the Snake. All right, third grade. Read your book. That's all we're doing today. No website summaries. And we will see you tomorrow for a website summary and a quiz on Friday. Bye-bye.